Transporting 15% of the world's GDP, century-old Maersk Line is voyaging full steam ahead towards digitization, using the Internet of Things, data and analytics to change its culture and strengthen the global supply chain. So we're a company that has a very large cost base. Uh, we have some vessels that, uh, that need fuel and they themselves are not cheap. So, so we have a lot of money invested to, that is tied up in our assets. Um, and so analytics really plays a large part in trying to reduce the costs associated with operating our vessels and our network and our equipment. Um, so yes, we have a, on top of having a very complex business model, we also have a, a, fortunately a lot of low hanging fruits and opportunities to really drive value through analytics. That complex business model includes over 600 vessels and millions of containers, traveling to nearly 350 ports in 121 countries, 365 days a year. Merskline actually operates a global network of two types of assets. We have both the ships and we have the containers. And while the containers, at least the ref refrigerated ones, uh, run into roughly a quarter of a million, and they're, they're equipped with sensors. Those refrigerated containers, or reefers, actually date back to 1936 for Maersk, but now, decades later, they are modernized and outfitted with sensors, giving Maersk the ability to monitor the location, the temperature of the cargo, and opportunities for critical maintenance. We have to invest, we have to inspect and investigate containers at the end of each journey, especially the refrigerated ones. So we use, uh, we use the sensor data to actually evaluate how should we approach each of those tasks. A bit like a patient going to the doctor, but you actually know what the symptoms are before they turn up. Spending more than $1 billion a year moving empty containers back and forth, Maersk Line is using data and analytics to automate and optimize where empty containers go next. When we have to, to relocate all our empty containers, um, the historic model has been that you have depots around the world, and in each of those depots, they actually themselves individually assess what's my need for, for empties right now to have available to customers. And that model uh, can be made more efficient. So what we're building from the analytics side is actually a whole automated process for them that does that job. It assesses how much they need, and it also automatically makes sure that those containers are routed to them so that they have that stock that is required without going too far. Maersk is digitizing global assets for the future in fuel economy, voyage optimization, reefer containers, and empty container optimization. It's a journey requiring a strong commitment and culture to data-driven principles. So the culture is, is, is very strong in Maersk, and we have a culture that encompasses a couple of core values. I think the most uh, apparent ones in our everyday work is, is uh, humbleness and uprightness. So it's about actually always being open to others' ideas and to listen, partly. And partly to always say what you mean and mean what you say and actually be very forthright in sharing your views and, and then committing to, to whatever's decided. And I think both those values lend themselves really well to the analytics journey because it's all about actually embracing uh, new ideas and actually listening and letting yourself be convinced by objective fact and then helping others to actually deliver that value afterwards. Looking to the future, Maersk wants to give the analytics and data to their customers, giving them more insights and control over their supply chain while creating new revenue streams. I think for us the next stage is then to commercialize it, is to actually take all that sensor data and make it available both from a transparency point of view to customers, but also for actions. Because you can probably imagine that if a customer had the ability to change the air pressure or the humidity or the temperature or the O2-CO2 distribution within the container, they can actually engage with their goods while they're in transit, and that completely changes the value proposition to them. Maersk Line, using the Internet of Things, data and analytics to change their culture and strengthen the global supply chain.